ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਤੋ ਬੁੱਕ ਰੱਖੀ ਉਹ ਹਾਂ ਸਟੀਫਨ ਡਬਲਿਊ ਹਾਕਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਥਿਉਰੀ ਆਫ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਬੁੱਕ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਟਿਵ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਰੀਡ ਥਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਰਿਟਨ ਬਾਈ ਸਟੀਫਨ ਹਾਕਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਸਟੀਫਨ ਹਾਕਿੰਗ ਹੈਜ਼ ਅ ਪੀਐਚਡੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਸਿਸਟ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਹੀ ਯੂਜ਼ ਟੂ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਐਟ ਕੈਂਬ੍ਰਿਜ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਲੇਟਰ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਪ੍ਰਮੋਟਡ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਰਾਇਲ ਸਾਇੰਸ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਆਫ ਲੰਡਨ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਹੀ ਮੇਡ the huge accomplishment towards science uh, particularly the black hole science um, so uh, we will learn more about uh, this book uh, so the this book uh, basically contains lectures that stephen hawking had given so uh, the expanding uh, so i will tell you about the big bang so the big bang model is um, uh, is a is a concept of how the universe actually started so basically if there was uh, very few galaxies in the universe uh, in uh, billions of years ago and uh, uh, in the the few galaxies that were together collided into each other and they produced a very big bang uh, which uh, made the the galaxies uh, this should be noted that the galaxies were very big so the fragments of the galaxies uh, was uh, was uh, converted into planets uh, because of the big bang and then uh, life started evolving on the planet and uh, uh, the monkey and the dinosaurs came and then meteorites crashed and the dinosaurs were went extinct and uh, all the other things so Uh, after the big bang we will uh, now uh, produ- uh, will now uh, address the topic of the expanding universe so as we all might know the universe is continuously expanding we can take uh, uh, an experiment as uh, a balloon which has which is deflated and uh, it has uh, dots on uh, it so uh, when the balloon is deflated we will notice that the uh, dots on it are very close to each other whereas as we soon start inflating the balloon or as we soon start blowing air into it uh, the balloon will uh, expand or uh, increase in size and the dots will move farther from each other and as this happens once the uh, area once the distance between two galaxies is enough new bo- a new galaxy uh, begins sprout uh, begin Uh, began sprouting in these uh, empty vast spaces so uh, as we all might know uh, a galaxy is a spiral and uh, uh, etc so uh, uh, as we uh, so uh, stars so stars uh, they are basically a uh, 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 huge hydrogen glass or uh, huge hydrogen orbs so basically Uh, they are uh, made up of hydrogen and they are uh, full of gas and uh, uh, they are continuously burning so the nearest star uh, uh, to in respective to earth is the sun and uh, there are many other stars and one of the brightest is the proxima centauri so uh, 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 once the stars as we as i told you they contain hydrogen so uh, uh, once the hydrogen is exhausted they stop burning so what happens is that when, uh, once they lose their mass black holes begin forming uh, uh, from the waste material of these stars so uh, basically scientists before believed that uh, uh, a star which has a uh, which has a definite uh, orb shaped uh, is uh, which is def- uh, which is orb shaped can only form a black hole but then uh, some scientists believe that the black uh, the black uh, once the uh, a star loses its uh, uh, loses its uh, uh, combustion uh, com- uh, uh, the gas uh, it uh, uh, it forms into a fluid and as we all know fluid can take the shape of any container they are poured into so in the space fluids take the shape of the black hole so uh, stephen hawking made huge contribution to these fields uh, and he proved many things so uh, one of the uh, main scientists was subramaniam chandrashekar so uh, subramaniam chandrashekar uh, 
way back in 1914 he uh, he came from india to england uh, to study with the uh, uh, professors uh, about uh, the cosmology uh, about cosmology so as he uh, as he uh, uh, on the, uh, in the, uh, when he was on the ship he began formulating a theory that uh, there are black holes and uh, the black holes have definite uh, shape and they have huge amount of gravity and other things but uh, in those times uh, the uh, people believed that uh, the black holes was solid and uh, uh, that uh, it uh, did not have much gravity uh, and uh, it uh, was and it came of course and it came only from the uh, 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 shape shapeless orbs so uh, 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 many people discouraged chandra shekhar about his idea because they be, uh, they believed that it was wrong so uh, chandra shekhar abandoned the study and uh, uh, years later his theories were pro uh, proved to be correct so uh, uh, so let me tell you more about stephen hawking so stephen hawking had uh, is uh, was having a disease called motor neuron so basically in this disease motor neuron uh, are uh, the tongue and the legs and sometimes the hands get disabled and the person is not able to talk or walk so stephen w hawking had to move about with a machine that had wheels and uh, which had a translator which was uh, uh, tra uh, transmitting from stephen hawking's brain to the uh, to word of mouth so uh, Uh, through all these odds Stephen Hawking still made huge contributions towards science but he still did not receive a nobel prize because most of the uh, because the the core the core of the black hole was uh, uh, i mean the core knowledge of the black hole was never proven so he uh, had not uh, he did not receive the uh, nobel prize uh, if the if it is proven then the nobel prize co committee may give